Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. As representative for Group 2 for Senior Sen, allow me to share briefly the background and details of our work. Allow me to first introduce our team members. My name is Muhammad Zulkarnain bin Abdul Wahab as the group leader, assisted by two of my colleagues, Mr. Muhammad Ikram bin Abdul Aziz and Mr. Muhammad Ashraf bin Ma'rif. In our initial discussion, Group 2 chooses to develop an inclusive PowerPoint presentation document to serve the purpose as generic corporate introduction to our center, Senior Sen. The idea was highlighted partly due to the center currently having multiple versions of introductory materials being presented to our clients and partners. It, another reason is because our nature of work, which mostly which most of the time involve persons with disabilities, either as clients or partners. Due to these reasons, it is only right for us to try our best in preparing and providing information in the most accessible format and arrangement possible. Prior to the development of the PowerPoint file, our team had a number of discussion sessions in coming up with the PowerPoint content as draft. The draft has gone through a few improvement phases before finally being endorsed by Senior Sense Management. We have also shared the final PowerPoint document with a visually impaired person to be tested on accessibility. In the later part of this video, we will share briefly how we put together the content and materials and ensure the PowerPoint file is accessible. The whole development journey has made us aware that many of our materials, which we shared, are actually not open and fully accessible to most persons with disabilities. In most development, we did took into consideration elements of accessibility for hearing impact users and visually impact users. However, we miss out elements for low vision users. Things like the type of font, size of font, and color contrast were not being highlighted. We also now learned that we, also, that we should allow more of our material to be used, shared, and adapt with minimum restriction. This assignment has given a new perspective for us to view accessibility and IOER materials in a bigger and more specific dimension. With this knowledge, we are now more confident in ensuring all materials developed to be friendly to persons with disabilities and align with IOER requirements, especially in adopting Creative Commons licensing. We will also, along the journey, share this knowledge with our colleagues, collaborators, and partners. That's all for me. Next, my colleague will now share a brief demo on how to ensure our PowerPoint is accessible. We hope this small initiative can also be adapted in your respective institution and organization, since it is indeed a big win for us in ensuring an inclusive world of education. Thank you. To get started, open your PowerPoint file. Make sure you have your content inside the PowerPoint. Then, you go to the top ribbon and click Review tab. From here, you can see the accessibility tools on your top left. If you can't see the accessibility tools and are using the older version of Microsoft Office, you can still go to File, then click on Info. Click on the Check for Issues box, and choose the option Check Accessibility. Accessibility panel will appear on your right side. It will list the errors, warning and tips about how we make our content is accessible to everyone. For my example, here we can see that list of errors state that my images are missing alternative text. You can simply click the issues and it directly show where the issues is at and fix it. That's it for the demo. Please visit Open Educational Resources of Simeo Sen by clicking the link or scan the QR code. For more information, please follow us on social media Simeo Sen.